For a Valentine's Day look, we're gonna do Mary Death Duxbury's foundation technique. And we're gonna find out if she really washes her face after putting so much foundation. And we're gonna find out if I have to wash my face and redo my Valentine's Day makeup look. And I'm going to walk you guys step by step how to achieve this makeup application. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. To achieve a flawless makeup application, you guys always have to remember to start with a clean, exfoliated, and hydrated base. What I mean by base is to prep your skin ahead of time. Give yourself like 10 minutes and prep your skin before applying primer. Primer should be in sunscreen, should be the last part of your skin prep. I already made a video on basic skincare routine or a um, skincare prep before makeup application. I will tag it right here. Make sure to watch that. For primer, I'm going to use from Makeup Forever. This is a Hydro Booster Primer and it's like a 24-hour wear. Uh, lately has become one of my favorite primer. It literally sticks the makeup on your skin and it does not move. So based on watching these videos, it does look like she starts with a very flawless skincare. Before every makeup application, I use one of these. These are uh, it's called the Instant Touch Up Stain Eraser for your teeth. So they're pretty uh, small and... Ooh! I dropped. <laughs> We're back. So it looks like this and uh, they're so small and they fit in your back. It's very convenient. You can travel with it. And what you're going to do is pick this up and then you're going to flip this and put it this way. And this part is like glass. So you're going to break the glass. You guys heard the... The noise and then what happens from here you start erasing everything that's sitting on your teeth let's say if you're in a restaurant um, you can go ahead and do this in the bathroom if you had wine or if you had like dark drink and you can just clean your teeth and come back and it looks the same so I'm just gonna quickly do this before my makeup application so for those of you who don't know Meredith Duxbury, she is a makeup influencer. She has like 17 million followers on TikTok and she's well known for her foundation technique. She does put a lot of foundation. You don't have to rinse your mouth. It should just be the way it is. And you should have white teeth like this. This is a must for the Valentine's Day week if you're going out. Just saying, you know, as it was promised, we're going to do Meredith Duxbury's um, foundation technique in this video. I'm gonna use a Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. So what she does, she puts on the back of her hand, like five pounds, <laughs> and then she mixes. She goes back on her face. I'm not sure if this method works or not, but we can always wash our face and redo it. I think she gets some on her hand and then she warms the foundation. Then she goes in like this. This definitely feels scary right now. I am kind of scared from my pores. I don't know what's gonna happen here. And then she goes with a wet beauty sponge to blend the whole thing. The hand technique, it, it's actually a very, very old technique. Um, that when the time we didn't have brushes and sponges and stuff, and that's how people used to put their foundation, and it looks good. You must have a wet beauty sponge and use one beauty sponge throughout the whole makeup application. Then she goes with a concealer, which is very heavy. I'm going to be using Tarte Cosmetic Shape Tape. She puts a triangle shape. She is known for a full coverage queen, so she uses everything full coverage and very heavy. Then she goes with another beauty sponge for the under eyes. Or actually, she uses the same beauty sponge. I'm just going to go with another beauty sponge. I personally like to use one sponge for the concealer and one sponge for the rest of the face. That's just me, guys. Honestly, I do look a little bit scary, but she always always says, trust the process. So we're gonna trust the process and continue what happens next. Then she goes with a bronzer stick. I'm gonna just go according to my face shape. She puts a lot, and she puts really darker shade. Um, I think I'm okay with this, with this shade. The bronzer she uses is super dark, so what I'm going to use is something that goes for my skin type. I'm going to use the foundation uh, sponge and just going to blend this. If you're a beginner in makeup, this technique will take you a lot of time and you need a lot of patience. She definitely beats her face with the sponge. Maybe that's also one of her techniques that her foundation always comes out flawless. So we're going to just beat her face. <laughs> I know one fact that when you put so much makeup and use a wet beauty sponge to blend, actually it takes a lot of makeup away. So then it looks blended. Then she goes with a lot of blush. I'm using Pixi Cosmetic. 
That's what it is? Yeah. So the first part of this foundation technique is all cream products. She also blend the blush with a sponge. Then she goes with a cream uh, highlighter. At this time, I want to go wash my face and start all over with something simple. But since we're makeup lovers, we're going to trust the process. She uses a baking powder to bake her under eyes and the rest of her face with the same powders. So I'm going to use a Makeup Forever um, translucent powder or setting powder. And it comes with a cute little pouch. So we're just going to do that. I took a big risk for Valentine's Day for trying this method. I hope this comes out good, otherwise I'll be super, super mad, guys. Now we're gonna bronze with this palette from um, Too Faced Cosmetics. So everything that she applies with cream format, she goes back and apply everything, the same thing, but more with a powder format to make everything look defined and snatched. If you wanna know how to bronze your face, always start from here and go in a shape of E like this and then go back out like this that gives that e um, method of bronzing now i'm gonna go with a powder blush and i'm just gonna use this is benefit cosmetics since it's valentine's day we're gonna put a lot of blush and a lot of pink and a lot of red so far the look is kind of giving now and i think i'm okay with this but i need to do my eyeshadow asap so i can breathe I usually like to take my blush around my eyebrows, so when I do this on the higher um, cheekbone, I just take it up like this. I just like that C shape. Then of course I like to apply some on my nose. I need a little bit more pigment, so I'm using the Chanel 430, I can't even pronounce that name. Chanel is so hard to pronounce, like all their names are so like French. Okay, I love this. I love this blush. It's so pigmented. You guys notice I don't put blush right here. I always put my blush right here. I just love it that, that way. Now we're gonna go with some highlighter from Rare Beauty and we're just putting it right there. Look at that. So beautiful, right? I love, love Rare Beauty. It's so gorgeous. I personally love a lot of blushes and a lot of highlights. So if you ever see someone outside blinking, for sure, you know, that's me. I also forgot to tell you guys, I usually put a setting mist right after a primer. It helps to hold my makeup longer. So I did that, but I think I didn't record it. So I'm just letting you guys know. Then I go with the same mist again once my makeup is done. So it can hold my makeup and it doesn't move and it doesn't crease and stuff. Till I finish my eyes. No kidding guys, I take shower with setting sprays. It smells so good. <laughs> this is from Makeup Forever. It's called Mist and Fix. It's a 24 hour um, setting mist. I do a final touch up or a final setting um, the whole face is with this powder. I use like a bigger brush and I just go in between where I didn't apply any kind of powder. So like right here, right here, around my mouth. And making sure everything is blended and buffed out. Also, if your contour uh, powder or your blush powder just looks too much or too heavy, you can always go back with this powder and you're gonna just go around the, uh, powder, the blush and you're just gonna blend the edges and like cover a little bit. It becomes way less than like how it was originally. This is just another way to fix if you make any mistakes. You don't have to remove the whole thing. Next is my eyebrows. So usually I like to remove everything that's up um, on my eyebrows. Just powder or foundation is sitting there. I don't like to go in with product because then it becomes really tacky and just looks so full uh, with like products. So I use a Q-tip with micellar water and I just go clean the, um, the surface of my eyebrows. I think from here on, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my own eyeshadow technique. You can see how we have a clean brows to start with. Then I like to go with a pencil or a pen and draw a line from here like a straight line all the way down here. Only on the bottom of the brow, like right there, starting. Just like that. Then going with something like this, uh, brow mascara from NYX, Stick It or Stick It, and it looks like this. So what do you do? It doesn't matter, it can be any brand, but what you're gonna do is get a little bit product on this. Whatever you just draw, right? Let me clean it. You're just gonna brush up 
whatever uh, way is your eyebrow up or side, whatever you want to, can go to that direction. So mine is more this way. And what this does, it blends the line at the bottom at the same time, it just puts some hair strokes on the top so that it can look even out. You can see how sharp this looks. So if your eyebrow doesn't look sharp enough, what you can do, use one of these or any concealer works. You're just gonna uh, put some concealer very close to the eyebrow line so it can just sharpen and clean anything that looks off. Then I like to go ahead and uh, blend the blur concealer I applied and then just clean the uh, eyelid too. If there's any foundation sitting, anything that's just sitting there, I can just blend it that way it doesn't crease when I do the eyeshadow. We're gonna be using these two palettes. I only need like one or two color from this palette, which is the red and probably the nude. And then from this palette, I only need this, like the shimmer color. This is from Michaela collaboration with Glam Light. And then this one is Dito Cosmetics. So we're just gonna use these two for tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a small, tiny brush and draw this right here. And then on this side as well very close to my eyelid and making a wing with it a little wing going with another brush like a fluffy little tiny brush we're just gonna blend this part and making the wing a little bit longer I want to show you guys something easy glamorous that looks good for Valentine's Day look then we're gonna go with a black liner and she's gonna make a very tiny line very close to our eyelid and on top of the red that we just applied and then blend Adding a little bit black liner always brings out the eyes. So whatever we did on top, we're going to do in the bottom too. Applying black liner very close to the eyelid. On top, we applied the color first and then the black liner. On the bottom, we're going to go black liner and then the color. And making a wing as well. So we created a wing line on the upper lash line. And then the same thing goes in the bottom. We're going to create the same wing on the lower lash line going outward. Once you apply the black liner very close to your lash line, you're going to get a tiny brush and try to blend and stay very close to your lash line. Then we're going to go back with the red and then just buff out the line over here we just created and adding some more red. This will just help to smoke out the eyes. Now we're going to do the same thing and use some on the bottom of the eyelid and try to blend the black and with the red and just the edges of it. By doing this, you're smoking out the black liner. Now we're gonna use a tiny brush and then apply, make a line starting right here, going up. Don't be scared to add colors. It's gonna be like a half line. These half line cut creases does make your eyes look a little bit sharper and more wider and bigger. And I love that. Now with another tiny brush, what are we gonna do is blend the top of this line, not the bottom. Just the top of the line, making sure everything is blended. Blending everything is very important, but blending little details is super important. Now I'm gonna go with P. Louise Base Concealer. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. If you want your eyeshadow colors to pop out more, always use a lighter base. If you don't have P. Louise, that's fine. You can use any uh, eye concealer works too. That looks pretty sharp, you guys. Look at this. Then you're gonna go back and set it with like a nude powder. We're gonna put shimmer on top of that so it doesn't really matter. So remember we draw this line, it looks a little bit mixed up, right? So in order to make it a little bit light up, you're gonna go with a very sharp, tiny brush and you're just gonna draw another line on top of it. By doing this, I feel like you get a 3D effect. Going back with the same concealer brush, I'm gonna apply that shimmer I showed you guys in Michaela palette. And we're just gonna put shimmer all over where we applied concealer. This is more like half cut crease and not a full cut crease. So don't be afraid to add colors, add shimmers, be creative, have fun. This is more like art, just like every other art. Now we're gonna create that cut that's in between that top liner and the bottom liner. So what we're gonna do, use a very, very, very tiny brush and use some white concealer or P. Louise concealer works. And then we're gonna draw a line going up and then a line going down. So we have that little wing in the bottom. Basically, we're creating like a fish tail wing by adding a white liner or a concealer. And between those two lines, we just created. Now to sharpen the top line and the bottom line, we're gonna use a black liner and we're gonna keep it very close to the eyelid. So I'm just going back with the black liner, sharpening out the lines and creating the inner corner wing. Okay, so off camera, my, my camera died. <laughs> off camera, I went and finished the 
black top liner and then the white liner on the waterline and just fixed a little bit details on the bottom like how I blended the black liner all the way to uh, inner corner liners so it just depends how you want to do it and also um, details are important just a little bit coloring and like just sharpening things and uh, buffing it out it just makes it really nice so now we're gonna jump into the mascara part I'm gonna apply this mascara and then apply a lash I probably do the lash off camera though I feel like the look is coming out and I want to know what do you guys think is this something I could wear for Valentine's Day so I'm gonna be using this lashes from kiss product and this one is called disco this is the Mary dot Duxbury collaboration with kiss product I'll be right back I have to do it off camera guys the other lashes was like just too much and it was covering my whole eyelid so I went with something that's a little bit lower so we can see the style of the eyeshadow and it's also like that wing type of a lash so it looks really really cute and this one is from MAC Cosmetic and it's like really it's like a type of blush where it goes out I'm gonna use MAC Cosmetic liner this is in the shade oh that's not MAC sorry that's NYX Alabama and then we're gonna use Rare Beauty Inspire lipstick it's Valentine's Day so we're gonna go for a red look as a makeup influencer I try different looks and different lipstick colors every single day and if you're not a influencer and you get the chance to try a lipstick especially red once a year on valentine's day why not go ahead and try it and rock it uh this look looks so gorgeous i can't wait i'm gonna go fix my hair i'll be right back you guys this look is exactly what i wanted for valentine's day look i think i'm gonna go with this you guys watch my story i think i'm gonna go with this look wow everything looks amazing the combination of the colors the red top the red lipstick the red eyeshadow wow i'm so surprised it came out so cute if you guys recreate this look make sure to, to tag your girl i'll be i'd be more than happy to see what you guys created and let me know in the comments what are you guys gonna do for a, a valentine's day I am going to this place for Valentine's Day on the beach. I'm going to show you guys a picture here. I still don't know what to wear because it's the beach. It's super, super cold. And it's super cute. I wish it was in the summertime so I could look like this. But I think I'm going to wear like a coat over this. And I'm going to give you guys a couple of model shots. Meridot foundation technique went successful. We didn't have to wash our face. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you. And anyways, give your girl a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll see you guys in my next video.